An early Sunday shooting at Tuskegee University in Alabama left one person dead and injured 16 others, 12 of them wounded by gunfire, authorities said. The victim of the shooting, an 18-year-old man, was not a university student, but some of those who were injured were. No arrests were immediately announced. Twelve people were wounded by gunfire, and four others sustained injuries not related to the gunshots, the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency said in a Sunday afternoon update. The FBI joined the investigation and said it is seeking tips from the public, as well as any video witnesses might have. It set up a site online for people to upload video. The shooting happened as the historically black university's 100th homecoming week was winding down. Tuskegee University announced that all classes Monday have been cancelled. Grief counselors will be available to help students in the university's chapel. A drone attack was launched on Russia's Moscow region in the morning of November 10, local telegram channels reported. According to the report, drones heading towards the capital Moscow hit two residential houses in Ramensk and caused fire. Several cars were also damaged. One person is said to have been injured. Moscow Mayor Sergei Sabayanin said that 32 drones moving towards the city were shot down. Flights at Moscow's Sheremetyevo, Nukovo, Domodedovo and Zukovsk airports were delayed due to the drone attack. Осколки, осколки, прежь голову! Под крышу, под крышу, под крышу! Пизду! Под крышу идите! Иди сюда, кнопа, кнопа, кнопа! Кнопа, иди сюда! Иди, друг, сюда, под крышу! Я себе, блядь! Фу, блядь! Ёбаный в рот, а! Охуеть можно! Блин, светин дом сгорел. Софина загорел, короче. Софина загорел, короче. Вот. Прилетел к нам. Фу, бля. Заебались разгонять автомобиль. Вот он летит, ебаный урод. Охуеть. Это второй. Вот взрыв, еще один пошел. Это второй над нами? Охренеть. Вон он пошел. Давай съебать отсюда. Пора въебать отсюда, короче, поехали мы. А, прямо, а первый прямо у нас от головами пролетел. И пошли взрывы. Валим, валим мы, короче. Вот так вот, над Липкина уже летают. О, слышь, взрывы? Тувошки работают. 
Смотрите, ребята, смотрите. Смотрите, парни, прямо над моим домом летит, падла, блядь. Только что уебашили два беспилотника нахуй. Только что, блядь, вот это все от, от одной ракеты, блядь. Вот это The senior advisor to President-elect Donald Trump said that the new administration will focus on achieving peace in Ukraine, and not on giving Ukraine the opportunity to return the territories occupied by Russia. Brian Lanza, the strategist of the Republican Party, told the BBC that the Trump administration will ask the President of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, to present his version of the realistic vision of the world. And if President Zelensky sits down at the negotiating table and says that we can have peace only if we have Crimea, he will show us that he is not serious, he said. The president-elect constantly declares that his priority is ending the war and stopping what he describes as the leakage of US resources in the form of military aid to Ukraine. Mr. Lanza, Trump's political advisor since his 2016 election campaign, said that the return of Crimea is unrealistic and not the goal of the United States. When Zelensky says that we will end these hostilities, that peace will come only after the return of Crimea, we have news for President Zelensky, there is no more Crimea, he said in the BBC World Service weekend program. And if the return of Crimea is a priority for you, and American soldiers must fight for the return of Crimea, then you are on your own. The USA has never sent American soldiers to fight in Ukraine, and Kiev has not asked American troops to fight on its behalf. Ukraine requested American military aid only to arm its soldiers. Opponents of Trump from the Democratic Party accuse him of rapprochement with the President of Russia, Vladimir Putin, and say that his approach to war is tantamount to the surrender of Ukraine which will threaten the whole of Europe.